this animation can be created by using python and uh, in this video we are going to know how basically this is the animation of imdb rating of top 10 famous series for three decades so let's start coding we are going to use a jupyter notebook and uh, the three important library is uh, a plotly.express which uh, with the help of this we are going to create the animation and matplotlib we are going to use it for creating the charts and the graphs and pandas to import the data to get the data visit the imdb official website and or you can directly visit to datasets.imdbws.com where you need to download three files title.basics title.episode and title.rating all these files are present in .gz so you have to unzip it before using these files okay. so use this uh, method uh, pandas.read underscore csv to import uh, these files be careful because these files these columns in these files are separated uh, by the tabs so don't forget to use sep is equal to slash t so first and then we are we needed to combine this file into one file or say one data frame and uh, the primary key for these files are tconst so with the help of tconst we are going to merge these files and uh, the data overall data is look like this okay and uh, we have uh, if you see then we have some of the not a number so these things can be handled further or in a future so okay so we have data to 30 we need to create animation for 30 years so we are going to loop from 1990 to 2020 and with each year we are going to first take the top 30 data set and with the help of head.30 and these data set will have grouped by the parent t const and start here and then we are going to take the mean of average rating number of votes and start here basically this one this will give you the total episodes of the particular season and then we will sort these values by number of votes and average rating you can change this configuration and the creator create your own a data frame and uh, okay so then with the help of this we are going to create the top 10 by sorting the value using average rating and then we can store all the data of each year into final df with the top 10 all right so let's print it and see final df with top 10 has around 310 rows and the final data look like this it has no not a number values or null values so with the help of this we are also eliminating any not a number or null values okay so to create a graph we are going to okay for the graph we have a two part one part is uh, average vote and another part uh, is uh, this bar graph so average vote uh, this figure is created by using this highlighted codes this code and uh, the bar chart will be created using the function draw bar chart it has uh, the we can create the bar graph using uh, this highlighted code uh, and the heading and uh, the column name will be using a x dot txt you can also change the format uh, and uh, if you wanted to increase or decrease uh, the sizes then you can use the draw bar chart to function to make any changes another thing is that uh, the color of this bar graph is depend upon the average vote so if the average vote is around 4000 then the color will look like this okay. so to create the animation 
we are going to use uh, the animation dot func animation and uh, for the frames we are going to, we are going to pass the draw bar chart function and uh, we are going to pass the range in the frame variable and the range is from 1991 to 2021 and 2021 is not uh, included and interval represent uh, the frame delay so to go from 1991 frame to 1992 frame it takes around three second and uh, so let's uh, run this this is the animation that will be represented in the notebook and for that you have to use html to show these animation and use animator dot to html file underscore video so if you click upon here this one then from 1991 to 1992 it will going to take uh, around three seconds from 1992 the same way so from this line you will be get the animation and uh, from the animator dot to just html we will you are going to get the static or static bar graph with the starting 1991 yeah if you want uh, the animation okay so you have seen this animation right so to get uh, this animation in mp4 video use uh, these three lines so for that uh, highlight a line so for that uh, you require to have ff mpeg installed so if you have not installed it so install it before and then how many frame per second you require so you can increase from 1 to 30 and uh, then the codec mpg4 to create the mp4 files then execute that and you will get the file like this and uh, so that's all in this video if you have any question regarding how to create a bar chart or the average votes or anything related to it then comment in comment section i will try to answer those query thanks for watching this video if you like this video click on like button and subscribe my channel thank you